Hi, good morning, y'all. I'm here, getting ready for work. I just wanted to, um, just wanted to share to y'all, share something with y'all before I headed in, man. Um, you know, if I could do it all over again, as far as it, as far as school goes, right? There are a number of things that I would do differently. Number one, I would have been a beast in um, like elementary school, junior high school, high school. I would have been a beast simply because now that I've gotten older, I know it's one thing to just learn and to learn and to try to learn information that people are giving you. It's another thing when you learn how to learn. And I know how to learn now. I know what it takes. I know, you know, the strategies. I especially know what works for me. Um, I know how to absorb information. I know how to bury myself in information. Um, you know, but, but specifically, I want to talk about after high school. And one of the things I would have done uh, after high school is, I think in our society right now, we put a lot of emphasis on trying to go to what we consider the top rated schools or what have you um and we and we choose going to schools that might be so expensive that yeah you'll get a great education but afterward you are struggling to figure out how you're going to pay back the student loans that you have especially when you're talking about minority com- communities where even after you get the that the the even after you get that education, it still might be hard to find a job or to get the same rate of pay that makes it even worth it. So, yeah, you have a job that you might consider prestigious or what have you, but your debt to income ratio is so high because of your student loans, or what have you, that you can't even really live. You know, in, in some instances, you're living financially, you're more strained than somebody who never went to college so the reason why I bring that up is because I think you have to now start thinking about college a bit more you you, you have to use wisdom so you can get the same education even though people may not may not recognize the name as much for the most part you go to any college and do well and do what you're supposed to there and you can come out on top so some of the things that I would suggest are simply one trying to figure out what grants there are and what scholarships you might qualify for. That's very important so that you can pay as little money as possible for your education. Two, do not be ashamed to go to a community college and to be a beast while you're there. Because a community college is a, the type of, it, like most people can go to community college, work a job at the same time for a young person right and pay off their schooling as they go so that they don't have to worry about finishing that first two years of college with any debt then after that because you've done well at community college level you can maybe get a scholarship to finish out your final two years at a at a four-year school and get that bachelor's degree right um you know so so financially you have to think of this from a from a, a wise standpoint. You can't just be just for the, in the name of education, handing all your money away. So, you know, I took out loans for my for my masters and for the one year of law school that I had done, and you know, I I, I did that. It's probably better ways that I should have gone about that. But I do want to go for a PhD. But I've resolved that if I will only get the PhD if it's something that. I can do without having to to go into debt for, you know, so whether that be finding a graduate assistance program um, that'll help pay for it, a a teaching, I'm sorry, not teaching, but a fellowship of some sort, um, you know, but something that that will pay for that education because um, it, it makes no sense for me to get the PhD and yet be living in debt just like everybody else um, as a matter of fact in some cases worse off because some people who may not have gone to college may not have that level of debt that I have so I say all of that simply to say you know be wise in your not just wise as far as choosing a, a place that has your um, has what you want to study yeah you have to find that but also be wise as far as how much it's going to cost you Right. So don't think so immediately in the short term that you don't think long term for some people, you know, and and this is why one of the things I notice in the black community is that we don't really understand what options there are to us. So all of us kind of get funneled into 
the four-year programs and what other communities understand is that for all careers you don't necessarily need a four-year program there's some careers that some of my friends could have gone to uh, a two-year maybe trade school or what have you to do for some people and and that's another thing that has to because to some extent we're also talking about purpose so first of all understand if the person who you are what you feel like you've been called to do does that even require you going to a four-year college in the first place some people want to do a trade like uh, plumbing and heating and cooling systems or what have you to where you may not need to go to a four-year uh, university right but what you can do is find a trade school or find an apprenticeship of some sort which will be low cost for you and you'll come out of there with very little debt if any at all right and make good money to where you can actually now use the money that you receive and it's not just going out to banks all the time or what have you um, you know for, for other people you might need some college education but maybe not as much so I know like let's say in New York if, if somebody wants to be NYPD officer they can go I think and get 60 credits from like a community college and that's all they need so they don't have to go into high debt right um, and then after that maybe they get into the force they're making money and they're making enough money to pay their way through school now it's not something to where they're enslaved by debt so um, so you know um, minority folks you have to really consider um, and that's not just minorities this this for for my for my white brethren and sisters also you need to think about this also not you might have a good amount of money but what sense does it make to have a good amount of money coming in and it's all going right back out to student loans so I don't care whether you're black whether you're white what have you be smart about your decision to get get into school so that you're not caught up in this trap of simply living and and making enough money simply to pay somebody else um pay loans for decades man like it's not worth it so i hope that's helpful to some of you young people man um any other questions that i can hopefully answer or address for you um let's do it man i i want to hopefully the next generation that's coming up i just want y'all to avoid some of the mistakes that um you know my generation is going through currently all right um yeah so yeah coach vaughn average is failure y'all have a good day i'm about to head into work peace